again, how are you? I hope you are all doing really well. Uh, this video, this video has been in the making for the better part of a year. I'm not even gonna fucking lie about that. <laughs> I think at some point last year, um, I said, oh, I'm gonna do a battle of the BAM cleansers because I'd done a kind of face mask battle thing. I'm gonna put them up here. It was some of the first videos I started actually getting a bit creative with, but face mask battles up here, um, but done them and then thought I'm going to do a BAM cleanser battle because it was like BAM cleansers were just starting to get big and I thought oh well that would be something that would be interesting to see what their what the difference is price ranges etc and what exactly works better um if you can see here I have a whole pile a whole array of lots of different BAM cleansers I think in total I have one two three four nine nine ranging from really 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 high end down to budget range you will notice that my hair will change slightly when i'm putting in the cutaways because this was done over a long period of time so if you're into that kind of thing you want to see what kind of oh i've got hair in my mouth classy if you want to see what kind of bam cleansers what they do what price range what makes them different and which one is like the best then keep watching all right, so just to clarify this to start with. So what I done was pretty much use up BAM cleansers. As you can see, this is completely empty. There are a couple here that I have repurchased, so they actually are a bit more full looking than the others. Um, other ones that I picked up were like mini sizes because they are very high end products and I wasn't going to spend the whole 70 odd quid on the full size when I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. So some of them are more of a travel size, uh, some come with cloths, some don't. Um, the other thing I think is important to remember is initially I was going to do this kind of wearing the exact same makeup every day to make it a little bit fairer to be honest with you. I didn't manage to do that. I think for the majority of the videos, I'm wearing my kind of everyday, very basic with mascara, not very much skin makeup on. And then there is a couple of videos where I've got pretty much like a full face, like for me, uh, something like today, like a really bright eye, lipstick, foundation, etc. There's a couple where I've got that as well. Um, it just, you know, I started off being like, right, I'm just going to wear this face um, and do trial all of these. But as I say, over time, it spread out and spread out. Then I was wearing different makeup at these points. And it was just when I got the opportunity to film it. Because when you're having to set up a light box in your bathroom and set it in your bathtub and get an extension cable, I was just doing it whenever I bloody well could. Right, so let's get started. I am going to start talking about the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Now this, as you can see here, is a new one. This is one I have repurchased. It might even be the third one I've repurchased. I think I tried this last year sometime, then picked up another one to do this, then kind of used it up and thought, oh, I'm gonna need to actually film, actually use it to film something. So what I'm gonna do is along the bottom here, you're gonna see the prices of each item and I will put links and lists and all that kind of stuff down below where to get these items and how much they cost. So the Body Shop one comes in a 90 mil, well, 90 gram, I would say, it's heavy, 90 mil tub. It is a lovely little tin container that you could potentially use again, depends what you're using it for. Um, it is completely and utterly um, cruelty free, like vegan, all that kind of stuff. As far as the Body Shop are concerned, I'm sure that's how they work. This has a 12 month lifespan as well, and it says it's suitable for sensitive skin types. I have to say the texture of this is very nice. It's very, very soft. It doesn't take a lot to get into, to like dig it out. It's, um, how do I put it? Like it is very much like a butter. It doesn't take much to heat up in your hands. And to be honest with you, I think that it does a really good job with regards to taking off makeup. Uh, I think it's in a very fair price range as well. I think these cost about £10 a tin, but you can pick them up um, in like outlet stores. If you go to the one over by Livingston, they do like um, 
you would get three for so much and it means that you're getting them at £8 a tin instead of like £10 a tin. On none of the days when I used any of these BAM cleansers did I use a waterproof mascara so it was just a normal mascara and I did use a muslin cloth with each one. Now I do have my own muslin cloths, some of these did come with them but this was not one of them. This one just comes as is. I have to say I think this is a really fair product. I really like this. I can't say anything bad about it. It does have a kind of floral, I suppose, chamomile, looks a bit like daisies. It is that kind of daisy scent. It's just a nice fresh floral scent, but not overpowering. It's not like you would think, oh, this has got so much fragrance in it that it's going to irritate my skin. I thought it did a really nice job. It leaves your skin feeling nice. It doesn't leave a kind of film on your skin or anything like that. Like sometimes I feel like these can do that. Now I figured the best way to kind of see which one is doing the job right and which one is actually removing all of your makeup was to use a micellar water. And you will see that I've used the Kiehl's one. This is the one that I used for every single one of these to make it a kind of fair judgment and a cotton wool pad. I did use throwaway cotton wool pads for this rather than reusable because the reusable ones can get a little bit stained over time and I thought better to have a nice clean white background to show you. So you can see here that I am using micellar water after washing my face and to see if anything came off. Now there was a tiny, tiny spot of mascara. The tiniest, tiniest bit, nothing really. I was pretty happy with that and then on the other eye I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. So you can see there there's pretty much clear cotton pads, really chuffed with that, clean skin, happy with that. I would say this is a really nice product. I would say if you're looking for a kind of starter balm cleanser that's not doing anything too fantabulous to your skin then this is really really safe non-offensive, not too fragrant, feels really nice in the skin, has a lovely texture. The only fault I would say is it doesn't come with a muslin cloth, but I think you could purchase your own and use them coinciding. That's what I've done with it anyway. But I thought this was really nice and the proof is in the pudding, it removed the makeup. Okay, so moving on, this is the Boots Botanics um, Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm, 97% organic with rosehip oil. Now, this is a slightly smaller pot. This is a 60 ml or 60 gram pot, as you can see. It did come with a cloth with this one. It comes a little box and then the cloth comes with it as well. Again, tells you to massage over your face, your neck, soak the cloth more in water and compress and dry out impurities. Blah, blah, blah. They are, they're all used pretty much the exact same way. I hope you can see that from my videos that I'm slotting in. Um, this one, I have to say, was a bit odd. It smells a little bit more, I suppose it's rose hips, so it has a little bit stronger fragrance. But I'm hoping that you can tell from the video that there are, it's almost like a butter that has crystallised. Like So when I was scooping it out, it was almost like there was these little hard bumps that looked a little bit like, I, I dread to say it, but if you know the Jaclyn Hill scandal with her lipsticks and the little balls of plastic that were in the lipsticks, that's what this looked like. But it wasn't, it was simply just bits of the product that hadn't melted down fully, so I had to really work them in. As you can see all the little balls on my finger at one point, but they did turn into a paste, they did turn into a liquid kind of oil, and they did work quite well. Um, I would say this was good, but I wasn't, I, I was less enthused by this than I was the, the Body Shop one. I would say that the Body Shop one kind of trumped this one. Uh, but this did come with a cloth, which I think is very important to remember. So you kind of have to look at it that way. Like within this price range, what is more value for money? When doing the micellar water challenge for this one, there was a little tiny bit left on the CAD again, but not like just a dot. It was more like a smear. Like there was a little bit more there than there had been with the Body Shop one. In saying that as well, I think that this one left a slight cast on my skin, which Maybe it's the rosehip oil, maybe that left a more moisturising aspect on the skin and it depends if you like that kind of thing. For me personally, would I repurchase this one over the Body Shop? No, probably not. That's why I haven't went and got that one and have since repurchased the Body Shop one. That doesn't mean to say that that's my favourite. Hold on. But I didn't like this one as much. There was nothing terribly offensive about it, but in comparison to all the ones that I've tried, I just felt it's smaller it's got these beads in it. it it's just a little strange i don't know maybe that was just this one maybe if i bought another one i would find that that wasn't the issue but 
wasn't in love with this one it was okay it's a budget range if you love the botanics if you feel being organic is something you really need to have then maybe it's kind of something you want to look into all right so we're moving on to slightly higher end price range now this is the take the day off balm from clinique i do have maybe like one more go of this this is the second but a uh, tub of this bottle <laughs> lost my words there this is the second tub of this i have bought over the past year though uh, i actually got this at the kind of beauty outlet place in livingston as well uh, that's how i know you can get the body shop one over there but i just i didn't purchase them both at the same time that would be totally silly uh, but this was 18 pounds and normally retails around about the 20 to 25 pounds mark i want to say it is a 120 mils uh, 25 mils sorry so there is more in this than the other two but obviously clinique is a bit of a kind of more high-end range um not luxury but definitely more high-end it's one that I've heard so many people speak about. I've heard people rant and rave about this and big it up and speak like wonders of it. There is zero fragrance with this. There is absolutely nothing. Like it just smells almost waxy kind of thing. But there is no fragrance whatsoever. What I have to say is though Clinique obviously come under a certain umbrella that kind of has certain other beauty brands, cosmetic brands, that means that I don't think this can be classified as either vegan or cruelty free. Um, for that reason, that's that's probably quite important to some people. I know other people will not care about that, but I thought it was important to mention because I know a lot of people won't want to use a brand such as Clinique. This was probably one of the first BAM cleansers that I used. It doesn't come with its own cloth, so at the point of buying this I think I was just using a flannel this was before I'd purchased any muslin cloths so that was what I was using and I found that it seemed to do the job I really enjoyed it um so how did I part of me is like oh look, this is really good I can't say it's not good it does the job it does exactly the job it says in the tin it passed the Kiehl's uh, micellar water challenge nothing was left on any of the cotton wool pads it is a little bit more expensive it doesn't come with a muslin cloth so if you like Clinique if you like a slightly more high-end brand you feel you want to use a kind of well-known company a reputable company if you just feel like you want something that's a bit more bougie I suppose then this is wonderful this is really really good and it takes makeup off fantastically but I think it's important to think about well is this any better than the body shop or the botanic ones because they are obviously a lower price range and if you do have any kind of ethical issues with regarding this company or the umbrella it is under then that is something to think about i'm not saying i would never buy it again just knowing now what i do and also using all these other ones that i have tried then will i rush out to buy it again no if it is bought for me then absolutely i would use it I wouldn't want to waste it and I'm not saying I will never buy it again but at this moment in time I probably won't purchase it again but it is good it does what it says on the tip okay next up is drunk elephant this is their sly I think I'm saying that's L A L <laughs> no Alana <laughs> S L A A I and they've trademarked that sly makeup melting butter cleanser with kiwi strawberry seed blend marula uh, and virgin marula oil they make their own virgin marula oil now drunk elephant is big news just now i think they've been big news for around about a year now this is a their cleansing butter i got this in a little tub like this this is what i picked up in space nk and um i want to say what price was this what price was this around about the 25 pounds no 19 19 pounds and i got this and I also got a trial size of the Proteiny Peptide Cream in the one tub. It also came with this, which I am yet to use, so cannot comment on. This is the uh, Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. This you're supposed to mix with this, and then it becomes like a nice kind of powder, soft exfoliant, and works on your skin gently to exfoliate in the evening when you're cleansing stuff off. I would tend to think like I would rather cleanse and then mix this in with clean exfoliant rather than being like put this together and then just buff all the makeup all over my face i think i would rather 
just wait till I had clean skin and then exfoliate. But I haven't used this yet. I can't comment on this. But I thought I would tell you what was in the tin when I got it. Now, as you will see from the video, I was wearing a lot of makeup on the day that I wore this. This is when I done my 10 years like makeup video versus what I would have worn 10 years ago versus what I'm wearing today. Um, and I have to say, this absolutely took all of it off. I can't dispute that. It done a really, really good job for a really, really heavy face of makeup. Now, the texture of this is different from that of any of the other ones. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so much softer. Um, the other ones, you need to kind of just dig your finger in ever so slightly to get it out and then it starts to melt once you've got it in your fingers. This is almost already a cream. Um, it's a little hard around the edges, but the middle of it is very, very soft. There is, again, very little fragrance to this. Pretty much nothing. Again, it's just that kind of waxy smell to it, similar to that of the Clinique. It absolutely done the job. I can't say it didn't do the job. I can't say it wasn't good at removing makeup because it did. But do you need to spend that amount of money on a product that will do the exact same thing for one that you could get for £10? No, no you don't. What I'm going to say is this is really good if you have that kind of cash to throw about, if you feel you want all your skincare to be Drunk Elephant, and there are Drunk Elephant products that I say are really, really good, and I wouldn't, you know, they're worth the price tag, and there's other ones that I think, eh, like, why would I pay that for this when I could get something very similar for a fraction of the cost? And that's one of these, unfortunately. It's good, I will continue to use it. I might even put it in my travel again because it's nice to have a little pot just to take things with you in a smaller size. Another point that I want to add about Drunk Elephant is that they say they are cruelty free, they say they are, you know, all the right, they're making all the right noises, they're cruelty free, they're vegan, all these kind of stuff. The thing is, they started to sell in China, I believe, main, mainland China. Um, if you buy Drunk Elephant, online in mainland China, 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 in mainland China, sorry, then it remains cruelty free as far as I'm aware. If you buy it off the shelf though, then it is not cruelty free because those products are tested on animals in China before they are sold to humans. But Drunk Elephant have said that they will not sell their products on a shelf in China, they will only be available online. So it depends on where you sit with that as well. I think that's a little vague. Um, I think it was, was it Shiseido? Was that the company that brought, bought them? I can't remember exactly. There's a whole scandal on it. There's loads of videos on it. Go and check it out. Jen Loves Reviews has done a, a very, very good, clear live video on it. It lasted for like an hour and something and I watched every bloody bit of it. But that's something very important to think about when you're talking about skincare. Um, if it's really important to you and this brand is saying they are all of these things but if their products are over in China it's questionable whether or not if products are going onto the shelf they're saying they won't but will they in the future that's the thing I'm not entirely sure um, anyway that's what I think about that do you need to pay for it that price I would say no moving on this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Pl yeah, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I thought there was something in between that there. Um, basically, another cleansing balm. Uh, I have to say, I really like the scent of this one. It's very highly fragranced. That might not be for everybody. But you know that way when you go to a spa or you go for a nice facial or you go for a massage, wherever you go, and it's just got that spa smell. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. I couldn't even tell you what the scent is. But it's got that spa smell. It's got that Elemis spa smell. Now, as I said, that might not be for everybody. That might be like, what? no, I don't like high fragrances in my skincare and that is absolutely fine. If that's you, you do you. I don't mind that. I don't have overly sensitive skin. I've got slightly dry skin, but my skin with fragrance, it doesn't seem, it doesn't really bother it too much. I wouldn't wear anything like, this is obviously washing your face. So it doesn't seem to annoy me. I wouldn't wear maybe a skin cream, like a moisturiser or something with fragrance in it because it's going to sit on my skin for a long time. But with regards to something that you're washing off, it didn't bother me at all. Now, this, again, texture, quite different from the first couple. Uh, this, again, is a bit more like the Drunk Elephant one. It's more that kind of 
it, it, it's soft. It, oh, how could I even describe it? So like the first two are like hard and you have to like scoop it out and moisturize it into your hands. Drunk Elephant is totally and utterly like borderline a cream in the in the tub. This one, when I first opened it, was like solid, solid in there. See, as soon as I stuck my finger in it, it was just like a a gel, like not even a gel. It's obviously moisturizing, but it's definitely got that much more liquid kind of smoothness. With all that being said, the fact that I like the smell of it, I like the texture, etc., etc. This one did not do so well in the Kiehl's Micellar Water Challenge bit. You will see that when I'm using the cotton pad, there is a marked amount of mascara. Uh, it wasn't a different mascara I was using. It was probably just a, a variation of two that I'd used throughout these videos. Um, and it was quite marked. You could actually see on it the little marks. It wasn't just like a few dots that had came out from, you know, maybe in the corner of your eye or anything, there was like actual darkness on the cotton pad. And that was the first one that I found done this. So I was like, oh, interesting, because it is a high price tag brand. Um, so for that reason, although I really enjoyed it, although I really liked the scent of it and the texture, no, I would not purchase this again, because quite frankly, it didn't do as well as the cheaper ones. All right, moving on to Emma Hardy now, another high-end price tag brand. And I bought the mini one. Now this mini, I'm sure this cost me 10. Um, and considering that it's the same price as some of the full size items, uh, I think the full size of this is around about the £40 mark. I will obviously, as I said, put prices here. It does come with a cloth, if I remember rightly, and it is the Moringa Cleansing Balm. Um, again, high price tag, kind of little bougie product. I really like the scent of it. It has, again, that kind of spa scent to it. Um, I think this one as well had a slight, like, more bit of texture to it than the Drunk Elephant or the Elemis one did. This one is a little bit, like, it wasn't like the Botanics one where there was great big chunks in it. It wasn't as bad as that, but it is a little bit more textural than the other two that are really, really smooth. You will see in this one from the cutaways that again, this was a day where I was wearing a hefty amount of makeup, like a full face, a red lip and winged liner. No false lashes though, just mascara. But that gave it a really good like trial of just how good this would get stuff off my face. I have to say, I really like this. The only issue for me again is would I pay 40 odd quid for the full size of this? against 10 quid from the body shop or against, you know, the Botanics one in Boots. It's just really difficult to say I'd be happy paying 40 quid when these products are doing the exact same thing for a cheaper amount. And saying that, I feel like this would be something that I would put on my Christmas list over Drunk Elephant, over the Elemis one, um, over the more expensive items that I have used. I would be inclined to say that's a really luxury product. It felt really nice. I like the scent of it. It feels like a pamper session when I'm using it. So I would be inclined to say that would be quite a nice gift. If anybody wants to pick me anything up at Christmas, I'd quite like that. It is not necessarily something that you need to have. It doesn't do anything more or better than the, the cheaper brands. It's just a little bit more luxurious and it, it's dependent on that, how you feel about that. Um, I do believe these are cruelty free though. I do believe that these are vegan. Um, so I suppose that's good things. I will double check and I will let you know all that below as I've said. But I really like this. It's probably one of the ones I'd be like, yeah, I probably would shell out for this one over the other more expensive ones. Let's move on to Eve Lom, another high price tag. Sorry, it was just, this is the way, I'm basically doing them in alphabetical order. <laughs> And all the kind of more expensive ones have kind of just came in the middle here. I didn't mean it to do that. Uh, so this is the Eve Lom uh, Bam Cleanser. Um, this is a funny green colour you'll see here. Um, with the mini ones, I have got a decent amount of use out of the mini ones as well. I can't remember the price off the top of my head for this mini one. But what I can tell you is this came with a full size cloth. Just saying. I picked this up in Space NK. This smells like the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. There's something very similar because it's like that green colour again. And what I have to say about the Eve Lom one is 
I wouldn't purchase this full size hands down because I don't like it. Not because I'm like, oh, it's quite high price tag and it didn't do, it just done the same job. This was awful. I did not enjoy this at all. So this has grains. This has, this has bits in it to be exfoliating. Now, that's all fair and well, but when it's saying that it's a makeup remover, doing that to your eyes with anything that has a slight grain whatsoever is not enjoyable. Um, I also found that the first few times that I used this, it, I really had to work to get the excess makeup from my eyes, which irritated my eyes. It also felt like there's probably like a layer of oil in it. Um, not that you can actually see in the tub, but like round here just now I'm looking and I can see there's like oil oozing out the side of where it's been used. And the oil I felt almost caused a bit of a like like oil on water in my eyes. So I felt like after I'd washed my face with this, I was constantly like that, trying to clear my eyes of the oil. Clearly, obviously don't like open your eyes and put it in your eyes, duh. But I was using it the exact same way I was using any of these other balms and this really irritated my eyes. I think not a makeup remover. I don't know why it's marketed as that. I think this is one that would be much better suited to being an exfoliator, a gentle exfoliator. Once you've already washed your face of any makeup, then going in with this onto like these areas of the face, maybe around the nose, not anywhere near your eyes. Um, this is really, really expensive. And I know a lot of people out there are probably gonna be screaming at this video, being like, you've used it the wrong way, you've done this, you've done that. I'm sorry, I followed the instructions on the back and this was crap. This is dangerous almost. Um, no, I'm not saying that, don't sue me, not claims. I didn't enjoy it. Um, it does have that slight cinnamony smell almost. Is it cinnamon? You will see when I'm using the Kiehl's micellar water with this, there is some on the cotton pad as well. So I feel like price-wise, too expensive. Actual use of the product, too abrasive. The oil in the product irritates the eyes. Yeah, it comes with a cleansing cloth, but quite frankly, pfft, no. I wouldn't even buy this if it was a fiver. That's the honest truth. All right, moving on to number seven now. This is the Radiant Results Nourishing Cleansing Balm. It comes with a cloth. I believe it's around about the £12 mark, so in a much more favourable range for me, quite frankly. This is the second one of this I've picked up, so that is why this one is so full. I have finished one completely. There is a slight fragrance to this one. This one is a slightly perfumed, like floral fragrance, I want to say but not as fresh as the kind of daisy scent from the chamomile one from the body shop. This doesn't have that spa smell that some of the more bougie ones does, um, but the texture, the texture is very, very similar to the Elmas one. It's that kind of real smooth butter, um, but not as soft as the Drunk Elephant. It's really, really soft and smooth, softer than I would say the Clinique even. Um, obviously it looks very similar to the Clinique in packaging. I love this. I love it so, so much. I think it's fantastic. The price, you also get a cloth. It does the job. You will see in the My Cellar Challenge, not a spot is left on your face. I love the fact that it washes all off your face. It doesn't leave any residue. It didn't irritate my eyes. It does have a slight fragrance, but not overly so. I think this is amazing. Um, I cannot say whether or not this is cruelty free or not. It is something that I'm sure I looked into last year at some point and couldn't get a clear answer on. If anybody knows, please let me know. If number seven knows, please let me know. Not that they'll be watching this, but I do like to mention them over on my Instagram. Instagram's down here, down here somewhere. If you've got this far in the video, go and visit the Instagram. Anyway. Um, this is really, really good. It's suitable for sensitive skin. This is one that I would purchase over and over and over again. Reasons being, two, why I like this better than the Body Shop. One, it comes with a cloth. Two, it's in the same price bracket. Three, I prefer the texture. So, it just depends on what you're looking for. If being cruelty free and things going to really charitable causes is much more important to you, then you're gonna to wanna to pick up the body shop one. If you are more inclined to be a bit selfish and be like, I want it for the texture, I want this, I want that, then maybe you'll be more into this. 
in saying that number seven do work with Macmillan Cancer Trust quite a lot and they do donate to them. They work alongside other charities as well, but I get it, the body shop do a lot of other things. So if you're kind of into that reason, then I understand that too. Personally, I would probably pick this up over the body shop one. The other reason is you obviously get your points when you're buying from Boots. You don't get that from the body shop. I'm not in the body shop as frequently as I would be in a Boots. That's just the way of it. I'd rather be honest with you. I would rather pick up this one than the body shop, but you need to take all of this into account. All right, moving swiftly on, this is going to be a long video, I'm really sorry, um, is the Pixie Skin Treats Nourishing Cleansing Balm. This is not the Caroline Hirons one. The Caroline Hirons one has two, like, halves to it. It's like, this is empty, so there is a little bit of something growing in there. I don't even want to look at what it is. Ooh. <laughs> um, the Caroline Hirons one has, like, half and half, and it's like a double cleanse thing. I'm just going to shut that back over. I'm not even, it, does, it smells a little bit like cheese, not even gonna lie, no, right, shut. Pixie are a lovely brand, I really like them, I like what they stand for, I like everything about them. This was probably one of the first as well alongside the Clinique ones that I had tried, but this is the initial one that I tried, uh, I have not repurchased one there after this. The Clinique one is the second one I've purchased, but this is the only one I've ever purchased of this. Reason being, I didn't really like this. I'm really sorry. Um, for those of you who like Pixie, I like lots of things from Pixie. I think they're a really lovely brand. This is nice. It's got sweet almond oil and cocoa butter in it, and that is what's used to kind of wash away and blend off any makeup. It says you can use it AM and PM. I would dispute that because the reason I didn't like this was that, again, similar texture to the Botanics one, it has a little bit more like bits in it, um, not like the Yves Lom. it's not gritty, it's not going to scar your face, they're bits that melt away in on your face and they're just a bit more crumbly, like I just didn't like the texture of it. After using it as well I felt like there was this film on my skin um, which might be really really nice for people who have very very dry skin to have that moisturising layer left on the skin but if you use that in the morning and then you're putting on like serums and hydrating things. I just feel like how can it penetrate through that layer? Um, overnight, it's maybe a little bit nicer to use, but I'm going to be honest with you. This wasn't a winner for me and that's why I have not picked it up again. With regards to it going funny, it's just because it's very, this, this pot is like a year old and you know, I shouldn't have been keeping it, but I was keeping it for this bloody video. Um, it is cruelty free, it has not been tested on animals, all that kind of stuff that is part of, they have the bunny, I'm sure they have the bunny, Pixie do. Um, and this is a 24 month pot, you can keep it for 24 months, that's what it says of the lifespan. I've had this for a year, it's went a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> try and remember that when you're using face products, I am not one to tell you what to do with your makeup, you watched me do a video the other week of using makeup that was 10 years fucking old. but. If it is something you are cleaning your face with every night, please remember you should be using these within the time frame. So that just goes to show that you should be using them within the time frame. Uh, I won't pick this up again, which is a shame. I can't say that that means the Carolyn Hirons one isn't good because they are different products. They are absolutely different products. Um, but no, this one just wasn't for me and I won't pick it up again. Sorry. And lastly is Wonder Balm. Now, a lot of people won't have heard of this because it is a local company, local to Glasgow, to lovely girls called, originally a pony called Steve. That was the company that made Wonder Balm. They have now became the Clean Beauty Club, I believe. I will link them down below as well because as far as I'm concerned, if it's a local business, then I want to support it. Wonder Balm is a, a kind of oil made with beeswax and citrus oil and stuff like that. It's almost a little bit more Vaseline looking than the other ones that I've spoke about today. It actually, well, it looks more like the Elemis one. The Elemis one was this kind of color and texture. Um, it is quite highly fragranced because of the citrus oils. It's lemon oil, uh, moringa, again, but like the Emma Hardy one, um, pomegranate seed oil and orange peel oil. There's a lot of oils in this now. I'm going to say I'm supporting this brand because they are a local company and this worked for me. But I think I need to include a lot of things about this. 
Um, the first thing is that a lot of highly fragranced essential oils can sometimes very much irritate people's skin. I think the girls who run this company have done their utmost and best to ensure that that is not happening. And I know at the moment they are in the process of making a product that is for really sensitive skin, as in people who have terrible eczema and psoriasis as well, which maybe will not have the fragrances that this one has in it. I also think it's very important to remember that this is a small company, so for that reason, they charge a little bit more. This is a, oh God, I don't know what size the pot is actually, a 28 mil pot, which is quite small considering the price of it, but they are ladies who are making this in their own shed, in their own back garden. They are a registered company here in Glasgow and they need to be able to get their overheads and things like that. This is why this is priced at this price point. And if you want to support local businesses, then you are going to have to pay a little bit extra than what you would go into Primark and picking up their cleansing balm or botanics or boots or whatever, because these are big, big companies who can afford to put a lower price point on things and this company cannot do that. It also can be used for um, cuticle oil. So if you've got really dry skin round about here, if you've got really dry skin on the back of your hands, this doesn't need to be used purely as a makeup balm remover. This is for all sorts of different things, a hand cream, uh, a pomade, all these kinds of different stuff, but it can be used as a cleanser as well. So it's a kind of jack of all trades. I'm gonna link their website down below and say these are worth a look, absolutely. And I love, again, little metal tin can be reused and very travel size friendly. They also do a little sample size tin, which is even itty bitty, and they'd also do one which is a larger tin, which is closer to the big sizes here, like um, the body shop one and stuff like that. So, although it is a little bit more expensive, although it does have um, some essential oil products in it, which usually in skincare, I would say, you know, watch what you're doing, it's definitely one you need to try to know if it works for you and if you want to support local businesses then definitely give these girls a look. That's what I'm going to say on this matter and I love it. I think it's really, really, really good. <sighs> right, so we've finished. Thank the fucking Lord we have finished. I will never have to hopefully ever film another BAM cleanser <laughs> remover video again. It's taken me so long to get through all that and so long to put this video together. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to God somebody fucking watches this. Um, it's just taken me a long time to do. And with all that being said, I think you probably know what I'm gonna say is my favorite. It probably is the number seven one. I know like people would probably say, well, the number seven one in the body shop, but the number seven one is slightly bigger. As I say, you get the cloth with it as well. I just prefer the texture of it. It just works for me better, but what I am going to say overall while I've been doing all of this is you do not need to spend money on a BAM cleanser. You could pick one up in Primark, you could pick one up in Space NK, they are going to do the same thing. Um, they might not like, you know, the, the Primark one might not take off the, the makeup quite as good as some of the higher end ones, but from what I've learned is actually some of the budget ones are taking the makeup off better than some of the higher end ones. So, with that in mind, my message for this video is do not spend inordinate amounts of money on BAM cleansers that you're going to wash off your face anyway. I just don't see the point. That is the honest to God truth. And I think that's it. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.